can't wait to see if the story changed at all. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. I have only heard my own. I don't. I what, what like number? I think it was number three, and I know it was changed by the time it got to me. <laughs> it was not changed. I just forgot names. There's a difference. I kept all the core things. Yeah, there were no names by the time it got to me. I had two names in there that I remembered, and that was it. Not including Sana. Of course I remember Sana. Did I say his name? Probably. I, I think no, we had Sana here, or something like that. By the know. time it got to me, I think I forgot the Sana part, but I totally like did the introduction in first person, so... I think I yeah. may have... <laughs> I only got the introduction in first person with no mention of sauna. I think I only the n only proper noun that was in there was Hellheim. I don't Hell <laughs> or Hellhaven. Hellhaven. I Shit. do not remember saying his name at all. I might have. I just don't remember doing that. Uh, I said it, it could really just be know. I said it because I knew it was from Sana's perspective. I do not remember. Maybe. That's weird. Because you yours was to me. You specified that when you said I, you met Sauna. As you know, I hail from the island of Hellhaven, a place outsiders who know of it refer to as the Seething City. On my small island home, no one knows everyone's business like me. In fact, there's an interesting rumor that hits close to home. Now, it's never been proven, but... There's tale of a library buried beneath the surface of Hellhaven somewhere that holds books and tomes and scrolls that can tell your future. A library said to hold something for everyone, and the longer the literature with your name on it, the longer your life left and perhaps more complex, interesting, or accomplished. One man, an adventuring wizard called Coronad, claims to have seen it himself, though he's long dead leaving the fortune tale library lost to time. He claimed to find it, you must follow a map etched deep into the lowest reaches of the walls of the volcano Rissius, and dig where it leads until you've struck the door that leads down into the expansive library. However, the circumstances of the library's burial initially remain unknown. And the story of his journey below has been passed by word of mouth for decades, claiming he nearly lost his life within the walls, as the structure suddenly around him began to quake in defense, and the ground above began to fill in, nearly entombing him alive for the rest of his days. The book began to change. The pages began to loosen from the binding, until just one remained, and its contents began to change before his eyes. Luckily, though, he teleported away, with his life, and lived the rest of his natural days as his fortune tale foretold. Or so they say. I'm just laughing already, because I just forgot so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, not there. <laughs> Sarah, you put way more flavor into it than I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wrote that down, and I kept trying to get through the whole video without forgetting the story at the end, and it just never worked. So this was the time where I gave up, <laughs> and you could kind of see at the end. <laughs> no, you. it was way more storytellery than I got, so... <laughs> Listen! Yeah. I... No, you I can mean that I did, my face like... Here. Because you can three see the pain. Names. Three <laughs> names. Oh, the pain. <laughs> there was Coronad, the Fortune Tale Library, and Rissius, I think, were the three names in it. Well, none of that made it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <gasps> But you will soon see, I, I, I do talk about that a lot. <laughs> Forgetting the names. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to give it a fighting chance of loading. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like stare at you in pain. <laughs> 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 
Kudos to Sarah made sure to put as many names in there as possible because I said I have great memory but terrible name recall so this is gonna go great. Um, so telling this story as Sana, uh, I hail from an island called Hellhaven um, and to outsiders it's called like the seething something. <laughs> And uh, no one knows anything about anybody except me, Sana. Uh, <laughs> sorry, man. And um, there, ta there lies tales of a hidden library underneath the island of Hellhaven that contains books that have names of people and their fortunes on them, like a fortune teller. Um, and in that library, if you read the book, the shorter the book, the shorter your lifespan, and so on and so forth. Um, there was a wizard who I don't remember the name of. Um, <laughs> oh god, I don't remember the wizard's name. It's of course the name recall. I suck at that. Um, Uh, this wizard went into the library to go and read his fortune, and, um, fuck, he, <laughs> uh, he found his book, I know he did find his book, and he read it, but, uh, it was buried underneath the volcano, uh, and as he was reading his book, the the volcano started to shake and things around him started like an earthquake started moving and, and falling off the shelves and uh, he was worried uh, he was gonna get entombed I remember that word entombed uh, but he teleported away and uh, or so they say that he teleported away and lived out his rest of his days um, oh, but when he was reading the book, as he was getting away, the pages started to loosen and come out of the book. And I, I think the implication is that this guy probably died pretty young because his, he messed with his book. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd do better at this, but you know, good luck, Leon. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. The only, it was not uh, that bad. The only thing... Well, there's like two things I noticed, and I can't remember what the first one was, but the second one was that he his book was like coming apart because the room was coming apart. So he was gonna die there if he didn't teleport out, and that's why I was coming apart. I don't remember what the other one was. Oh. oh that makes, that makes sense suddenly. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you should have so fast. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you he was just booking it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what the other thing was. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, I was laying down when I made my video. I forgot. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you did, I'm sure you love watching the 10 seconds of me desperately trying to remember a name and then just giving up on it. Just. <laughs> when he had a name. He did, and I knew he did, and you could see in my face that I knew he did, but does that mean I remembered it? No. No, you I just didn't. made something up. I should have, honestly. Yeah, we would have. <laughs> no one would have suspected Next time. Anything. And we would have just forgotten that name. So it All right, so I've watched the video that Nikki sent me once, and so we will um, see how good I am at recalling it. Um, to be clear, because Sarah wrote this, it is from Sana's point of view. So when I say I, ooh, that's my hand. When I say I, I mean Sana, of course. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. So I hail from the island of Hellhaven. Ooh. Uh, and there's all sorts of cool stuff there. Uh, but what's particularly important is that there lies tell of an ancient library. Ooh. And that library is famous and special, but also a myth. And it's underground. And also there's a volcano, but we'll get to that later. And there was this wizard who had a name 
but Nikki forgot it, so I don't know what it is. And so this, um, the only person who knows about this, by the way, is me, Sana. Uh, nobody else knows about this library, even though it's a myth and it's famous. And it went underground, this um, wizard did, and wanted to find the books because each person in the world has a book um, and that book like tells their fortune. And if you, you know, like if it's a longer book, then you have a longer life with more stuff going on. And if it's a shorter book, you have a shorter life. Um, and so the wizard is going down underground to where this library is and finds his own book and starts to read it. But as he begins to read it, uh, remember how I was telling you about that volcano? Well, guess what? It starts to erupt. And guess what? That violent or that the volcano is on top of where this library is. And so um, it's like an earthquake underground and the um, the wizard realizes pretty quickly that he's going to be entombed there. Uh, so rather than do that, he runs away. But during all the commotion, some of the pages get loosened. So as he escapes, who's to say whether or not he had all of his pages still in the book, which makes a problem because remember, if the book's shorter, you don't live as long. Um, but he lived out the rest of his days. How long that is, I don't know, but he did. Um, and that's the story. Um, oh gosh, good luck. Good luck with this one. Uh, for real. Um, there, I think there were originally more names, but I, I don't know what they were because they, I didn't get them. And also, I think I forgot one or two. I don't know. We'll find out. Good luck. <laughs> and part of that is Leon just being like, good luck for 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, Why is there 20 seconds yeah. of this video still left? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I remembered what the other thing was when he was talking. It was that the library wasn't under the volcano. The map was in the volcano. Why would they put a map in the volcano? started that. <laughs> Listen, I remembered there was a volcano. Yeah, and then it was, it was relevant to the right. library. <laughs> it was on the volcano wall. So it was dangerous to get to the map. That's why no one's really ever been there. Uh, the map part was completely lost. <laughs> Wait, but I thought, then where did the volcano destroy the book? It didn't. <laughs> No, but it almost did because he teleported. <laughs> the, the, library, like the, the library almost destroyed itself to protect itself from the wizard. Oh. Oh. This was heavily inspired by an episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> oh, okay. oh but, hey. the but the library I works a little I, different I... in this one, and it has a different purpose. <laughs> okay. Let's do Athena next. All right, yeah, so I got the Leon. video from Leon, and I got to hear the story written by Sarah, told from Sana's point of view. So whenever I say I, I am, of course, meaning Sana. All right, let's see how all this goes. I hail from the island of Hellhaven, and, they, and there lies, or Lytel's, a mythical library. There's also a volcano, but we'll get back to that. This library, which only I know about, despite it being a myth, is underground, beneath the volcano. And there was a wizard, whose name was lost to time, who is said to have gone down into the library. And in this library, everyone has a book. These books tell their fortune, sort of describe their lives, um, if you have a bigger book, then you're going to live longer. If you have a shorter book, then you're going to have a shorter life, etc. So he went down, and he found his own book, and he started to read it. However, as he was reading it, the volcano started to erupt. So it started, so the world started to shake, essentially, and it was sort of an underground earthquake. And he knew that he would be entombed there. So, instead of finishing the book, he ran out and fled. But in the commotion, a few of the pages fell out of the book. Now, remember, um, that means he's got a shorter book now, 
So that could mean he has a shorter life. But he continued to live on for the rest of his days, which we don't know how long that is. And so that is the story. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. Good luck. I like how you added name was lost to time. <laughs> I mean, technically. <laughs> Yeah. By the time, time was like five minutes, it was lost. By the time it, it got, was lost it over about a month of telephone. It was, it was lost. <laughs> it actually, um, by the time it got to you, it had only been two days. By the time it got to Nikki, yeah. it was lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone has remembered yeah, just... <laughs> to say, "I hail from the Thank island you. of Hellhaven and oh, entombed." <laughs> I don't think I said entombed. I'm sorry, I broke the chain. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember the term entombed. <laughs> so now we are going to Alex. Alright. Okay, let me just... There we go. So, I got my part of the story uh, from Athena. And I'm sorry this took so long. But here's what I remember. Uh, I'm... <laughs> kind of iffy on it because I'm kind of iffy on everything now but so I hail from the Isle of Hellhaven and on that island there's a volcano and underneath the volcano is the a library I believe uh, and in the library there's a lot of books and all the books have people's lives in them, and the length of the book determines how long you're gonna live. And so there's a wizard who visits the library, and while he visits the library, he finds his book. So yay, he's got his book. Um, and he starts to read it, which I don't know why you do, because I don't know. Um, and while he's reading his book, there's an earthquake, and the earth starts to shake, and he's like, oh shit, let's get out of the volcano. Uh, so he takes his book with him, and he starts to run. And while he's running, a few of the pages fall out of the book, which could mean that his life is shorter. Um, but he's getting out of the volcano, and he gets out of there alive, and he just lives the rest of his life. Uh, I guess, you know, those last few pages didn't really matter much if he didn't read them. Uh, but he he got out, and he's alive, and that's, that's all she wrote. <laughs> uh, so... That's my part of the story, or my version of the story. Take it or leave it. You have to take it because uh, this is telephone and I'm the only one giving it to you. So, good luck. I like how you just dropped the entire fortune telling part of the book so it's just a book that I lost. <laughs> I think something that also got lost there was, uh, um,. The whole mystery of, like, did he live? Did he die? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I thought it was just like he was. He wanted to know how his life went, so he went and found it. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> that's what you thought, because that's what I put. <laughs> just, I like how we like, what about the rest of his days, I guess, but the... the... <laughs> Because the rest of his days could be like two days. Or like... <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the end of the story was. I was like, I guess he just lived. <laughs> I, I, just say, I love the fact that at some... <laughs> I love the fact that at some point we transitioned from him teleporting to him running away. <laughs> 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 this the wizard just told me though. Okay, I let me feel see like, if I can get oh, oh, I feel like it switched to running away when we lost entombing. 
<laughs> I just knew that he got away. <laughs> Only real 90 kids know entombing. <laughs> The word was so fun to me. That's the only thing that like stuck in my brain out of all of this. Entombing. I'm interested right. to see how you tell this bit. I yeah, I'm. I'm very interested to see how the last bit goes here. <laughs> I can't even remember what I remembered because I never went back and watched it after I recorded it. <laughs> all right. Frame myself better here. Hello. Okay, I just got the story from Alex. Let's see if I can recall it. Ahem. I hail from Hellhaven, which is an island with a volcano, and underneath the volcano there is a library. This library contains books of everyone's life, and the length of the book is an indicator of the length of your life. Uh, one day there was a wizard who made his way into the library, and as he was there, he found his own book. Uh, he started reading his own book, which is unwise, um, and as he started reading it, an earthquake began to shake the island. Uh, he ran the heck out of there because, you know, earthquakes and volcanoes especially when you're under the volcano. Not great. Um, so he books it out of there, and on his way out, just as he's running, he loses a few pages out of his book, uh, which could potentially mean his life is shortened, or perhaps altered in some way. Although, apparently he didn't get to read those pages yet, so he may never know. That felt really short. I feel like I'm missing a chunk of the story. But that's all I got. That's all I remember. <laughs> yeah, narrative telephone. <laughs> it did get really short in the end. It did. It did. It I, was, I was very concerned about how short it was. <laughs> Me too. Like, when I got to, like, the end of what I remembered, I was like, Is that the end? Oh shit, that's the end. Uh, how do I end it? <laughs> I kept the main plot points, I promise! Other than the map. We, we got the pages falling out of the book all the way through. We did! The we got line the back change it's, with Rex, though. It's a library with books. <laughs> it's all in Hellhaven. <laughs> I like Alex saying it was a library. It has lots of books, as if that's not what a library is. <laughs> it's a library, but not your average I... library. It has a lot of books. <laughs> I had to specify. You know, library, library books, the books specifically from the library. <laughs> Those books. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, like I, 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 I don't remember if Alex said anything about the, like the fortunes of the book, but uh, um, I Rex got it. that information. I mentioned in my version that he was dead, right? <laughs> I don't remember. Can we watch that right? one more time? He was dead. Yeah, yeah we yeah, let's watch the first, first one again. again. Okay. To it's break like full circle. Bring it full circle. <laughs> Now that we've heard them all. Go love life. <laughs> I will say, I did find it kind of funny that that beginning line um, lasted through everything and then Rex changed to like I a murder. Fun. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, I'm from Hellhaven. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy. <laughs> Hellhaven here. <laughs> What up? It's Connor coming at you from Hellhaven. <laughs> Welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> hey there. I'm I'm Connor, and this is Hellhaven's countdown of the top ten books you shouldn't have read from the library. Welcome to Hellhaven. <laughs> oh boy. As you know, I hail from the island of Hellhaven, a place outsiders who know of it refer to as the Seething City. On my, on my small, small island, island home, home no, no one, one knows, knows everyone's, everyone's business, business like, like me. me. 
In fact, there's, there's an interesting, interesting rumor, rumor that hits it close to home. Sana's entire personality was but lost in the story. The tale of a library <laughs> buried beneath yeah. the surface of Hellhaven somewhere that holds books and tomes and scrolls that can tell your future. Also, it turned from he knows everybody's business to only he knows this story. <laughs> it's my myth. Perhaps more complex, interesting, or accomplished. One man, an adventuring wizard called Coronad, claims to have seen it himself. So oh, Coronan. Coronad. I'm, I'm boy he did. I said he's dead. <laughs> he claimed to find it. You must follow a map etched deep into the lowest reaches of the walls of the volcano Briseis. There's the map. <laughs> yeah. Until you struck the door and yep. down into the expansive library. However, the circumstances of the library's burial initially remain unknown. And the story of his journey below has been passed by word of mouth for decades, claiming he nearly lost his life. The irony of this being passed by word of mouth now. The structure suddenly yeah. began to quake in defense, and the ground above began to fill in. Oh yeah, the library will him yeah. alive for the rest of his days. <laughs> the book began to change. The pages began to loosen from the binding. Until, Until just one remained, and its contents began to change before his eyes. Luckily, though, he teleported away, with his life, and lived the rest of his natural days as his fortune tale foretold. Or so they say. <laughs> that story makes way more sense. Yeah, that story definitely makes yeah. a lot of sense. I'm glad it makes some sense. <laughs>